All right, uh, welcome back to the Sloppy Modeler. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, coming to the channel. Definitely excited about having you here. And uh, we are continuing on with the uh, USS Mobius uh, 132nd scale Cylon Radar, uh, Cylon Raider from uh, the uh, Battlestar Galactica series update. Just wanted to uh, bring you up to speed, uh, but before we do that, I just want to say thank you for your um, subscriptions, thank you for your uh, likes and, and uh, shares and so forth, and your comments have been incredibly uh, very helpful. So thank you for that. I uh, wanted to bring you up to speed on the radar and let you know what we're uh, thinking and, and what we've accomplished so far. And uh, I, I'm actually pretty pleased with where we currently stand, uh, hoping to, uh, to finalize these up before uh, too long as far as buttoning it up. And actually, I'm ready to do that uh, now that we've got the lighting in place. So for the lighting itself, uh, what we've got in place here is uh, the first thing that you may be able to see is the uh, roving eye here. That uh, has really turned out uh, just fantastic in my opinion. I think that looks great. Uh, good on uh, the boys over there for uh, producing it. The other part of the kits, uh, you've got these two red LEDs which I don't think are really adding anything to it. And then in the back we have, um, uh, those are stuffed up right now with, with paper towel, but essentially that's uh, a flickering blue and a white that are inside of there. Now, well, and then also uh, we've got fiber optics for the lights here uh, for the guns. And when those fire off, you can see them go through here maybe in a second. Yep, they're firing right now. So those, uh, those are dynamite. And then what I added to the kit, um, I painted some cop lighting red here and here to go underneath the missile bay. And I also added two 5mm LEDs that I shaved down the tops, polished them up, and then um, epoxied in with clear epoxy. Uh, these four strands, <clears throat> four strands of fiber optic, uh, one on each side, are four uh, strands on each side, and those will eventually be coming out of the uh, thrusters on the left and the right. So uh, the lighting system is in. It looks like a, a wiring mess, but that's all right. The other thing I did was took the larger uh, feeds that they had and went down to this uh, wrapping wire. So all, essentially all I'm going to have is, is one set of wires going in from the post from the bottom. So the next stage, and I'll try to demonstrate this as quickly as possible. It's not necessarily super fast, but I'm going to... Uh, next stage would be to uh, epoxy down or glue down the bottom wings and basically that works just like so and all I did was just uh, drill four holes inside of the bottom wing where that attachment goes. And now we can bring that right down and go in. So um, that's how that fits on just like that. Uh, the other thing I would recommend is bringing your fiber optic for the guns to bring them up through its little groove here, like so. And then you are, Bob's your uncle, you are ready to lock that down. So that's as simple as one side goes in. And I'm not going to put this one on this time. I'm just going to kind of set it in place. It's time to epoxy these down because I've test fit this several times. But that is um, that is how that fits on. And I don't know if you can see it under the light here. It's daylight, but uh, this has got tape over it. And that red is coming right through the tape, which means it's going to look amazing coming through the dark, uh, the dark missile bay cover on that. The other side is just the same. We do the same process where we connect them in uh, via these four. There are dreams, there are 
like that. Again, taking this up through the gun emplacement. And that one is uh, essentially ready to uh, epoxy down. So, um, yeah, very, very pleased with that. And then this piece fits on the back. So right now I've got some pieces that are taped. These are taped, taped. Uh, and I've done some preliminary painting. Uh, like through this section here has been painted preliminarily same thing on top uh, this section here has been painted this has been painted that's been painted that has been painted in the very ends have been painted in this needs to be repainted and taped off and then tape off some of this other stuff deal with the light leaks around the engines uh, but again this is uh, really Super fantastic. Uh, and there's from the top what that looks like. So uh, that is as simple as the wiring kit can get. It does, uh, you do have to shoehorn it in there pretty good, but uh, once you've got it in, it, it seems to be doing a pretty nice job. So uh, that is uh, where we're going to start. The next step is now I'm ready to close up this hall and then get the, the bottom piece on, which is this one here. And we'll talk about that under film. But for right now, I'm going to let this go, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay, so we are making some progress on the uh, Mobius uh, Cylon Raider. This is just an awesome kit. However, I uh, uh, am at a bit of a crossroads. So my epoxy uh, did let loose on this side over here. So I have to add some more to that. Uh, you can see it right in there. So I'm going to shave that out just a little bit with a scraper and then uh, put a fresh epoxy coat on that section there. Uh, and then at the same time, uh, it's kind of come loose on this side here. So I'm not sure if that's just because it's not catching on the paint. Uh, and actually, I'm not going to do this side. I'm just going to do a bit more on this side. And then uh, I am prepared to use my clamp to lay epoxy into uh, lay epoxy into this ridge here and into this ridge here. Now, this means I'm going to have a gap uh, that's um, pretty sizable right in through here and right in through here. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. That gap is just, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it there or not. Uh, that gap is just going to be too big, but we'll get through that and, and fill it. So I, I i got to figure out how to make all this uh, locked down, but I've got to trim some of that away using just a blade and then come back at it and then we'll be, um, uh, we'll be uh, uh, on, on the road again, as I say. So let me go to work and uh, when I'm back, uh, we will uh, have this epoxy down. Thanks. All right. Hey, uh, welcome back to uh, more Swapping Modeler with the Battlestar Galactica. Cylon Raider from the uh, latest redesign. So I have made the significant progress uh, in the paint booth. We're actually done in paint, except for one thing. The, the one thing I'd like to do is I'm going to coat that. Um, I'm going to coat that visor in a coat of smoke, and uh, hopefully that's going to be enough as a transparent black that it looks black. Uh, but then when it, uh, light is, is lit up, it'll go back. If it doesn't work, I can just strip it and, and start over with a different, uh, uh, process. But, I think that's gonna look good. I'm gonna coat the, uh, outside of it in smoke, and then glue it in and see how that looks. Uh, or put it in and see how it looks, and then see if I need to glue it in permanently. But that's the last of the painting to be done. Um, everything else is painted. And I am really super excited about the way that it has turned out. Uh, I think I've got all the light leaks taken care of, I think. Um, except for the intentional ones here at, the, at my uh, missile base. 
And I did go ahead and take a little bit of um, transparent blue over that steel, and that gave me a really nice look, I think, over those engines. Uh, really, really pleased, by honestly. This coloring is uh, uh, Martha Stewart's titanium, is uh, the, the light titanium color. Uh, this is black pearl for these spots here, uh, and including out here on the, um, on the, uh, the, the thrusters. Uh, and then the, this is brushed pewter, again from Martha Stewart. And then I used black pearl on the inside of there to give that a little more social look. And you, you've been familiar with the guns, how it turned out. On the top, same thing. This is brushed pewter here. Um, brushed pewter throughout. Uh, this is uh, titanium, where it's the lighter color across there. And I'm just really pleased with the way that this is, uh, has come together. Uh, very, very pleased with the way it has come together, quite honestly. And uh, we are, uh, we have kind of trimmed down our thrusters. We still have to do one more batch of those. And, but I'm going to wait till I get this weathered. Uh, and that's really the next two steps. Uh, paint that smoke right there with, uh, or paint that, that visor with the smoke. Uh, trim the guns down uh, and glue the guns in. I haven't glued those in yet. That's, that's probably a step there. Uh, trim down the thrusters and put mushroom heads on those. Uh, put mushroom heads on the guns and make sure that all that comes together and then weather the heck out of it. Now for weathering, I'm going to use a combination of two things. I'm going to use a combination of, pardon my big fat head in the leg here folks, combination of uh, Tamiya weathering with uh, some gun metal here uh, and maybe a little orange rust around the engines. I think that'll look good. And then I've got some pastels here, uh, primarily in the chalks here and some of this light green that I'll mix together and uh, maybe some of the red even around uh, some of that uh, engine work. But uh, we're going to uh, weather this up and then um, uh, we'll call this good uh, when it comes to it. We'll come back for a short reveal on this here in a, in a bit once I've got those final details put together. Um, but then we're going to put this aside, uh, and after this is put aside, then we will, um, uh, after it's put aside, then we will uh, start on the Viper Mark II, and then do the Viper Mark VII, and then do the diorama with the three of those. Uh, this has been a very fun kit. Uh, the lighting kit is absolutely superb. I don't need to use the switches because we're going to do something a little bit different with that. Uh, but uh, for the most part, this has just uh, really been fantastic. So let me go ahead and finish this, some of this up, and then we'll be back for a reveal uh, after the weathering is done. And uh, the, the fiber optics are trimmed up, and uh, the guns are glued in. And then we'll be a uh, short reveal, and then we'll put it aside. So we'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, welcome back to the Mobius Models 132nd scale Battlestar Galactica Cylon Raider. The new series, new design. Try to say that twice fast, can't do it. Uh, I am very pleased with uh, the final results here um, as it's come together before the diorama. So uh, I went ahead and glued in everything else that needed to be glued in, glued in the guns, uh, these vents here. Uh, that was glued in. I went ahead and trimmed my uh, went ahead and trimmed my uh, vents, and I really like that look. That turned out just uh, perfect, in my opinion. Uh, the guns have been trimmed down. All that fiber optic has been trimmed down to the right space. Went ahead and got a coat, uh, a couple coats of uh, smoke onto that glass, and that gave me such a nice diffused look across there. I, I'm sorry I didn't see it sooner than that. But uh, that has been done. And then, of course, I went ahead and got the scorching done. You know, there's a couple of spots here and, and one here, um, one there uh, around the engines and so forth with uh, just that black uh, pastel chalk. Uh, and then I went ahead and used a rust on, like, the guns here uh, from the Tamiya Rust. Same thing with the underside. Uh, just some scorch marks here and there. Uh, I didn't weather the underside nearly as much, but again, some rust back here, rust back on this section, and uh, filled in any light leaks that uh, may have had left. But I think for now, until we get to the diorama, that is going to 
uh, bring us across the finish line, if you will, for the Mobius models. Um, 132nd Cylon Raider. This is a lot of fun on this kit. It uh, goes together great. It's easy to tape off once you start figuring all that out uh, for paint. And I'm really excited with the way that this turned out now that I've uh, scorched it up a little bit. Uh, as they say on film, it's, if you want it dirty, get it dirtier than you think in real life. But in real life, this is dirty enough for me as far as the weathering goes. And uh, I'm just, I'm really kind of pleased with the way that that's turned out altogether. So that is going to bring um, this episode of the Sloppy Modeler to a conclusion here on uh, build log number two and the finale for the Cylon Raider. Thanks for coming along with us. It's been a fun build. Uh, thanks for your viewership, your participation, your comments, your subscriptions, your likes. All of that makes a big difference in helping to grow the channel. Uh, we are growing subscription subscribers every day and, and that I'm very very grateful and love all of you guys for for tuning in when you do I know it's a busy world out there you could be doing anything else but I'm glad you spent at least some of that time with me so until then um, we'll be back with the Viper Mark II from Battlestar Galactica next uh, and then after that the Viper Mark 7 so the Viper Mark II should go together pretty well I've got the photo etch kit for that, but it's primarily just some in the cockpit, some of the engine work, and, and that's about it. So that should go pretty quickly, uh, and we'll go from there. So for right now, this is a Slap Model of signing off saying thank you, and we'll see you soon. Take care.